I'm Andrew McCullough, Professor of Surgery, Divisional Urology, and at Albany Medical College. I'd like to take this opportunity to discuss a paper recently published in BJUI. The title of the study was Oral and Clomiphene Citrate Raises Testosterone and Preserves Sperm Counts in Obese Hypogonadal Men, Unlike Testosterone. Restoration instead of replacement. For over 50 years, we have been using exogenous testosterone to treat the symptoms of hypogonadism or low T. Exogenous testosterone normalizes testosterone, but it has the deleterious effect of suppressing the pituitary gonadal axis, resulting in infertility, low sperm counts, and testicular atrophy. Since 1968, we have been using a medication called Clomid that was originally designed for women who were anovulatory. We found that using it in men increased their testosterone and sperm count. What is enclomiphene, the drug that we used in the study? It is one of the stereoisomers of Clomid. So Clomid is made of two stereoisomers, zuclomiphene and enclomiphene. Zuclomiphene is an estrogenic compound and can have deleterious effect on the testis, whereas enclomiphene is anti-estrogenic and increases the pituitary secretion of LH and hence the secretion of testosterone from the testis. Which just brings us to these studies that I'm going to discuss. Basically these were the first of a kind comparing and clomiphene, androgel 1.62, and placebo. It was a level one evidence study, double dummy, double blind, parallel design. 40 men per arm, men less than 60 with a BMI of greater than 25, and confirmed hypogonadism with a sperm count that was normal. The primary endpoints were percent change in the baseline sperm concentration, comparing and clomiphene to androgel. And the percent responders defined as a 24 hour T in the normal range and a sperm concentration greater than 10 million per ml. The results were quite dramatic. Both the testosterone and the enclomiphene normalized testosterone levels. But as you can see from the bottom line, in terms of the percent of men with a sperm count less than 15 million, which is considered abnormal, almost 50% of men in one study had a loss of their sperm count versus virtually none in the enclomiphene and placebo group. In terms of treatment, emergent adverse events, there were very, very few. The drug was well tolerated. So, in conclusion, treatment with enclomiphene resulted in a statistically higher percent of men with a 24-hour T in the normal range and a sperm count greater than 10 million per ml over men treated with gel or placebo. Enclomiphene was well tolerated with minimal side effects. Enclomiphene was found to restore T levels in the majority of hypogonadal men studied. In contrast to the characteristic and well-documented suppression of sperm concentration with exogenous testosterone, such as androgel, clomiphene exhibited no negative effect on sperm concentration compared to placebo. Thank you.